Hi, my name is Brett. And in this course, we're going to learn about Watch OS. And we're going to create an iOS app that we can then communicate and associate to our Watch OS app. And it's going to be just like if you had a watch on your arm that had an iPhone app that it could communicate with. And they're going to kind of work in conjunction. Although the main focus is really going to be on developing that Watch app. A little bit of background about me. I've been creating watch OS apps for about six months now. I've been creating iOS apps just since just after iOS was released back around 2008. It actually came out, I think, in 2007, and I started creating not long after that. So in this course, we're going to start off with creating the watch app and creating the controls on the app and getting used to how they work. So if you've got a background in iOS development, it'll help you, although it isn't necessary because this course is really meant to go from beginner in watch OS development all the way up to being very proficient in it. As we progress learning about the different controls in the watch app, we'll see how to capture user input. Now on the watch, things happen quick. They're very simple and easy because again, you're on that watch. So we're going to keep that in mind and that's going to kind of guide us as we create our watch app. We'll get into then developing a simple iOS app that works in conjunction with our watch app and the two will communicate. So the kind of app we're going to create is an application for baseball. It's going to list the different stadiums, the play dates that are coming up. And then on the watch, we'll be able to look at those different stadiums. We'll be able to look at the upcoming play dates. And that is actually going to use a feature called glances and notifications. So when the user picks up the watch and they look at it, they'll get what's called a glance when they swipe. And then they can see what is the most current data coming from their watch app, which is actually being fed from the iOS app. So we're going to simulate getting our data from some kind of cloud source, for example. We'll see how to do notifications, which are more of an interruption to the user where it pops up and you have some kind of notification about an event that's kind of important. Maybe you need to look at it versus the glance, which is just grabbing the latest data through this stream of data that's coming in. It's not interrupting the user. The user has the option if they want to swipe and see a glance or if they don't want to see the glance at all. We also get into force touch, which is holding down your finger on the watch app and it brings up a menu a small menu of just quick actions the user can do inside the application we'll get into haptic feedback which is where as the user is doing things in the app you can have it make different sounds you can have it vibrate to the user and as we're going through the course we're also going to get into how do you get the watch and the ios app to communicate through the simulators, because all this is going to be done in the simulator, it's unlikely most of us have a real watch to develop on. So we're going to see how do these two play nice together. Sometimes there are issues, and I've actually left the problems that I run into inside the course, so you can see the kind of issues you might run into as well. So we'll work through those as we kind of come across them, and eventually we'll see the best methods for getting the two simulators, the iOS simulator and the watch simulator to work together. So that is an overview of what's gonna be happening inside the course. So let's go ahead and jump right in.